10 common questions and answers about freelancing hello welcome to my channel my name is dizzy davidson and i'm a freelance solutions expert who helps business owners and other professionals with finance and business consulting solutions on this channel i share my freelancing journey tips and insights that can help you start grow and thrive as a freelancer in the online world if you're new here make sure to hit the subscribe button and the bell icon so you don't miss any of my future videos and if you're already a subscriber thank you so much for your support and feedback i really appreciate it in today's video i'm going to answer 10 common questions that i get asked about freelancing these are questions that i've received from my viewers clients friends or family and i think they can help you understand freelancing better and clear some of the doubts or myths that you may have so let's get started question number one what is freelancing answer freelancing is a way of working where you offer your skills or services to clients on a project by project basis without being tied to a long-term contract or employer you have the freedom and flexibility to choose your own projects clients rates and schedule you are essentially your own boss and your own business question number two why did you choose freelancing answer I chose freelancing because I wanted to pursue my passion, have more control over my work and life, and make a positive impact with my skills and services. I also wanted to challenge myself, learn new things, and grow as a person and a professional. Freelancing has given me the opportunity to do all of these things and more. Question number 3. How do you find clients? Answer. There are many ways to find clients as a freelancer, but some of the most common and effective ones are. 1. Using online platforms or marketplaces like Fiverr, Upwork, or Freelancer.com. 2. Creating your own website or portfolio and promoting it on social media, blogs, podcasts, etc. 3. Networking and building relationships with other freelancers, clients, mentors, or influencers in your niche or industry. 4. Asking for referrals or testimonials from your existing or past clients. 5 cold emailing or pitching your services to potential clients who may need them question number four how do you set your rates answer setting your rates as a freelancer can be tricky but there are some factors that you can consider to help you decide one your skills experience and expertise two the value or benefits that you provide to your clients three the demand and competition in your niche or market four the scope complexity and duration of the project 5 your personal and professional goals and needs you can also do some research and see what other freelancers in your niche or industry are charging for similar services or projects question number five how do you manage your time answer managing your time as a freelancer is crucial as it affects your productivity efficiency and quality of work some of the tips that i use to manage my time are 1. Planning my schedule ahead of time and setting deadlines for each task or project. 2. Prioritizing the most important or urgent tasks or projects first. 3. Avoiding distractions and procrastination by using tools like timers, apps, or blockers. 4. Taking breaks and resting when needed to recharge my energy and focus. 5. Outsourcing or delegating some of the tasks or projects that I don't have the time or skills for. Question number six. How do you deal with difficult clients? Answer. Dealing with difficult clients is inevitable as a freelancer, but there are some ways to handle them professionally and respectfully. One. Communicating clearly and setting expectations from the start of the project. Two. Listening to their feedback or complaints and trying to understand their perspective. Three. Offering solutions or alternatives that can satisfy both parties. Four. Being firm but polite when saying no or rejecting unreasonable requests. 5. Ending the relationship gracefully if it's not working out. Question number 7. How do you handle taxes? Answer. Handling taxes as a freelancer can be complicated, but there are some steps that you can take to make it easier. 1. Keeping track of your income and expenses throughout the year using tools like spreadsheets, apps, or software. 2. Saving a percentage of your income for taxes every month in a separate account. 3. Hiring an accountant or using an online service to help you file your taxes correctly and on time. 4. Learning about the tax laws and deductions that apply to your situation and location. 
Question number 8. How do you balance freelancing and personal life? Answer. Balancing freelancing and personal life can be challenging, but there are some tips that can help you achieve it. 1. Setting boundaries and limits for your work and personal life, such as working hours, days off, or vacations. 2. Separating your work and personal space, such as having a dedicated office or workspace at home or elsewhere. 3. Making time for your hobbies, interests, and passions outside of work. 4. Spending quality time with your family, friends, or loved ones. 5. Taking care of your physical, mental, and emotional health by eating well, sleeping enough, exercising regularly, relaxing often, etc. Question number 9. How do you cope with stress or burnout? Answer. Coping with stress or burnout as a freelancer is essential, as it can affect your well-being and performance. Some of the ways that I cope with stress or burnout are 1. Recognizing the signs and symptoms of stress or burnout, such as fatigue, irritability, anxiety, depression, etc. 2. Identifying the causes and sources of stress or burnout, such as workload, clients, deadlines, etc. 3. Taking action to reduce or eliminate the stress or burnout, such as taking a break, asking for help, saying no, etc. 4. Seeking support from others who can help me cope or recover, such as family, friends, mentors, therapists, etc. Question number 10. What are the benefits of freelancing? Answer. There are many benefits of freelancing, but some of the most common and important ones are. 1. You can make money doing what you love and what you're good at. 2. You can have more flexibility and freedom to choose your own projects, clients, rates, and schedule. 3. You can have more control and creativity over your work and life. 4. You can learn new skills and gain new experiences that can help you grow and improve. 5. You can make a positive impact and a difference with your skills and services. So those are the 10 common questions and answers about freelancing that I wanted to share with you. I hope you found them helpful and useful. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up, leave a comment below, and share it with your friends. And if you have any other questions or suggestions for future videos, let me know in the comments as well. Also check out my ebooks, and other training resources on freelancing, in the descriptions below. Thank you so much for watching, see you next time.